Let's make your videos look a bit nicer. And to do that, we're gonna look into motion tracking. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity. Welcome back to another tutorial here on the channel. If you don't know what motion tracking is, here's what it looks like. So we're chilling here in Playground, and just like that, I can have text above my head. Look, it says Bravity. You know that this is Bravity. I can even tell you that this over here is a car. And if we move the camera around, you can still see that it says car over the top of it. So that, guys, is an example of motion tracking. It's pretty much just taking an asset, tracking it into your footage, such as text or a photo, and making it look like it was there when you recorded it. It just stays in the scene where you want it to be. It will follow a character. It'll stay on an object, no matter what you guys want. And it's pretty easy to do inside of After Effects once you learn. So let's jump into After Effects, and I'll show you how to do it. All right guys, so I've just opened After Effects and here we are. You're gonna be greeted with a screen that looks similar to this. We don't have a composition or anything and it's time to import your footage. I've already done that right here, the stuff we're gonna be motion tracking, but if you need to import your footage, you can just right click, go to import file or go up to file and import right here, file. So pretty simple, you can import your footage and then you just wanna drag your footage down into this little colorful box and that is going to create a composition that is set to your footage size. So here we go, we got the tracking footage that we need. So I'm gonna scrub through it, just kind of find where I want to start. I know it's later in the clip, I believe, where my guy's running around, so let me check. It's gonna go pixelated because it's gotta render quite a bit of information. So we're just gonna click and drag the edge, kind of like this, or you can hit Command-Shift-D, like that, to cut where you want, and delete that. So we just want this, drag it back into place, right here at the beginning, cool. So here is our footage that we want to motion track. I'm just kind of running around as this little character and we want to make it say Bravity above his head. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do to start motion tracking is go up to Layer, New, Null Object. So you wanna create a null object and it's gonna put it down here and now we can just ignore it. Next, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your footage is selected and you're gonna to want to go to the tracking window, which is down here in the bottom right. If this is not here, then you wanna go up to window and select tracker down here. There should be a little checkbox next to it and it'll pop up on your screen somewhere, usually in the bottom right down here. So we're gonna select our footage and hit track motion. Once you hit that, you'll see a little tracking window pop up or a little tracking point. We wanna make sure we go to the beginning of our footage and then we can position our track point. So you're gonna see two boxes here. The middle box, this tiny little one right here, this is where your program is looking to track. This is the point that you wanna track. So I'm gonna place that on his face, just like that, nice and creepy. Um, you can track a bunch much smaller points, but I'm gonna give it as much information as possible. Just track his face like that. The second box is where the program is going to be looking in the next frame for this face. So we wanna make sure it's bigger than your smaller box, just kind of like that. And now that we're at the beginning of the footage, we can zoom out to see everything. And you wanna hit this little play button right here. This one will go backwards. So you could start at the end of your footage if you want. And this one will go forward. So we're just gonna hit analyze forward and you're gonna watch the program follow the face all over no matter where I run. Now sometimes this can glitch out and mess up if he's moving too fast, if there's too much motion blur, and in that case you can either try to find another track point or just move it back onto his face and then try to analyze again. Sometimes it's all luck, but as you can see it's doing a pretty good job because I'm wearing a skin that is very um, contrasty with the reds and the blues. So as you see he's just running around and the tracker is doing no problem following his face around. All right guys, so it's been tracking for quite some time, so you can either let it get to the end or just hit the stop down here where you hit play, and you'll see all these little points pop up. These are all the keyframes that your tracker created. You see it just follows his face all over. So what you're gonna to wanna to do next is hit edit target, and you're going to want to select the null that you created. So null one, make sure that's selected. Hit okay, and then you want to hit apply down here in the track area. Hit apply, this little box is gonna pop up, apply dimensions X and Y, just hit okay, and that is going to parent the null to that track data. So this box should now follow his face perfectly. There you go, you see it's moving around, following his face just perfectly. So we're pretty much done guys. That is the heavy legwork done. All we can, all we need to do now is just add in our assets. So I'm gonna click the text tool up here, put it right there, click and type in Bravity M. Just like that, we can go ahead and scale it down. This works very similar to like Photoshop and whatnot. We can place it right above his head, just like that. That is Bravity M. And then you're gonna come down here, see the Bravity M. You're gonna come to this little spiral looking thing. That's how you parent 
drag the parent whip to the null. So you're partnering this to the null. You're telling this to follow the null and just drag and drop. And just like that, Bravity M will now follow him around. So if we hit play, look at that. We got beautifully keyframed Bravity M right above our guy. And that is it, guys. Look how simple that is. You just open up the tracker, put your dot where you want, hit analyze forward. It'll analyze the footage for you. You put your text wherever you want. I could even put it right over his body and now it'll follow his body just perfectly. And then you just want to make sure you drag this over and parent it to your null that you created. And just like that, guys, you've got a much higher production value to your videos. You can let people know who's who. You could put uh, text above their um, above their head as they're talking, like subtitles or something. But that's how you do motion tracking, guys. It's very simple inside of After Effects. And I hope you guys see how powerful After Effects can be and uh, think about buying it and using it on your videos because it can it can really up the production value, guys. So really quickly before we go, I just wanted to show you how to export out of After Effects once you are done with all your effects and your motion tracking, because I know I had problems with that. When I first started working in After Effects, it was a little bit confusing. So once you're done, you want to come down here to your composition and you want to either hit B on your keyboard for beginning or N on your keyboard for end. B for beginning, N for end to show where you want to export. So I want to export my clip from the start of the clip. So I'm going to move all the way here and hit B for beginning. And then I'm going to move forward, find where the track stops, just like that, and then hit N for end. So B for beginning, N for end, we have selected this little work area. So once you got that selected, you want to make sure this whole composition area is selected. You can tell it is by this blue box surrounding it. You want to select it and go to composition, add to render queue. You can leave this at lossless. It's going to set it to the best settings for you right away. And then you can just click here on this blue text and name it wherever you want and save it wherever you want. Hit save and then just hit render and it'll render through your clip just like this and save it wherever you wanted. You can then drag it into your editor of choice and get working with it, guys. So that's pretty much the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got enough information to where you can add motion tracking into your videos to make them look a little bit nicer. If you guys are still having trouble and don't know how to do it, let me know down in the comments or hit me up on Twitter, send me a DM or something. I'd be happy to help you through all your troubles and get you moving on. If you really don't understand it or you want to do more tracking like rotation and scale and all that, also let me know down in the comments or on Twitter and I can make a full-blown video all about tracking and go much more in depth than we did here. I just scratched the surface just to get you guys started with motion tracking. But if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and consider subscribing and sharing it around to all your friends. But I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in another one, whether it be a tutorial or a speed run or Fortnite or something. I don't know. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.